Hey everybody, it is your old pal from the future again. Hello. Although it's going to get a little more difficult to tell apart the your old pal from the future, i.e. me, and original me from last year, because after the first four episodes I changed my hair to this, and uh, yeah, as of the next episode, and a little bit that you're going to see now, um, I've changed my hair. So... After the first four episodes last year, I was doing some editing, editing the full length for Patreon, and I've noticed a few things, so I decided to make a video about it. So that's what you're about to see now. Me making a video about the first four episodes and the little things I, I noticed. But I will talk to you after you've watched me from... Oh, this is so confusing, isn't it? Me from... <laughs> me from the past talk about the stuff I've noticed. And then I'll talk about that, the stuff that you just watched. It's going to be a whole talking about Inception thing. You, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Do you? Anyway, here's me from last year talking about the first four episodes. See, see you in a bit. I've been looking at the first four episodes, filmed the first four episodes, uh, did two, three, and four, like, back to back to back, to. and then I was, you know, editing them to upload them, and you know when you edit them and you upload them, a few things occur to you that are, um, some of them are more important than other things. <laughs> so let's let's start with the most fun, the fun thing. Um, and then we'll move on to the, the things that are just extra little bits. So, what is the difference between this image and this image? Well, in the first image, we've got a room full of Prue's best friends. They are the closest friends she has in the world. They came to her surprise birthday party. They brought gifts. Look how happy they seem. Look at them. I'll, I'll make it big. I'll make it full screen. Look at them. These people, Prue's best friends. Okay. Image two. This guy is a handyman. He just appeared at the end of episode three for no reason. Just, just a guy. You know, he's he's not friends, best friends with anybody. He's just here to fix the door. The difference, of course, is that um, these fine people, Prue's best friends, maybe even some family members, you know, neighbours, people who saw there was a party and decided to join in, all of these people we will never see again. These people don't exist. They're, they're just extras. They're, we're not supposed to pay attention to them. They're not important. Um... They're, they're not her friends. We will meet Prue's friends over the next few seasons. You know, somebody will come in from out of town and be like, oh, hey, remember we used to go to school together? And, oh, yeah, remember remember that time? Blah, 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 blah. We'll meet her real friends in the show. We'll meet everybody's real friends. But these people, <laughs> they're so happy. Look at them. <laughs> we'll never see them again. They, none of them will have a speaking part in the show. That's my guess. Whereas this guy, this guy, when I first saw him in the episode, I was too busy reacting. I did thought, think it was a bit weird. Who is this guy? What? Where? What? What's going on? Where, why is he here? And then it was like, oh, he's fixing. Yeah, the door broke. Oh, yeah, okay. But when you're watching it back again, when I was editing it, it was so obvious. It was so obvious. The way he was acting, the way... Um, he interacted with all three of them. All three of them gave him a look or said something to him. He he introduced him. He he has a name. He's Leo. Uh, and just the way he delivers, he has speaking lines. The way he delivered the speaking lines. One hundred percent, we're seeing this guy again. Now he's not in ep He wasn't in episode four. He wasn't in episodes one and two. He might not be in episodes five and six. But this guy, I'm willing to stake my reputation as somebody who picks up on things. This guy 100% is going to be in the show. 
he's going to come back. Maybe they they trash their house so much that he has he has to keep coming back to fix stuff. But he's a great actor. <laughs> he had like a few lines, but the way he delivered them, he was pausing. He was, you know, he was saying things. He's coming back. He's one hundred percent. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't confirm it. I don't need you to confirm it. I know. I know he's coming back. Um, but I'd like to be surprised by it too at the same time. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but it was so obvious when I was watching it again. I was like, "Geez, this guy!" You know what the biggest thing is? The biggest giveaway that this guy is going to be in the show um, as a semi-recurring character or whatever. It's the fact that the episode is over. The episode is done. And this guy is in their space. He's in the house. He's in their the, the sister's sacred space. He's not a guy at the, a bar just randomly chatting people up. He's not, you know, an employer. He's he's just this random guy in the scene. Um when the episode is over, when they're all relaxed, you know, and he's chatting to them. 100%. 100%. I'm, I'm so sure. I'm so sure. These people, you will never see them again. Unless they're in the background. Which brings me to the fun part of the... The other fun part of the video. The extras. <laughs> I was... There was there was this one extra in, in episode two. This... This... This woman, she rounds a corner... It's like she's standing there before the scene starts and someone gives her a cue to walk around the corner. It's so, it's so, and there's the camera zoom, the way the camera zooms in, it's like you're supposed to pay attention to her. You know, when I first saw it, I was like, who is this woman? Because, because of the way that the whole scene is shot. But it's so unnatural. The way she walks around the corner, everything is just weird about it. We'll watch it again. We'll watch it now. Okay, so establishing shot to Buckland Auction House. We're going to zoom in. And this woman's going to walk around like, like you've never seen before. Whoop, here she is. <laughs> Look at the way she's walking. She's like... <laughs> it's like she's the villain of the episode. And we're supposed to like really pay attention to her. She really sold it. The funniest thing about that is that later on in another episode, I realized that this column, it's just, if she wanted to go that way, she, she would have just gone, gone around the other side. She wouldn't have walked up and then turned. She would have, she just go diagonally, Mrs. What are you doing? Um, but she was the one who drew my attention to extras in Charmed. So I had a bit of fun. I, I was I wasted so much time just looking at extras, going, "Oh, there's the guy with that shirt. Oh, look, he's walking. Oh, look, now he's having uh, drinks with a girl." Um, but it's a really weird one in episode four. Phoebe's doing her psychic thing, and this extra just there's a restroom in the background. They open the restroom door. And they start peeking out. They're just peeking. They're, they don't leave or they don't they don't do anything. They're just like, oh, is the scene still going on? I'll show you that one. I'll show you that one. Not without consequences. Whoop. No, but it's okay. for Prue. It's not Here's, for me. Whoop, it's peek. to pay for her whoop, present. It's whoop. completely Oh no, it's still going on. <laughs> it's it's hilarious. I'm not gonna be looking at extras for the rest of the show. It's just sometimes and I've never done it with any other show. But sometimes it can be just funny looking at them going, ooh, I wonder if that person will be in a different scene. Oh, look, they are. Look, look, they're walking this way. Oh, wait, now they're walking the other way. How do they... What are they doing? Where are they going? You're just going in a circle, dude. Um, I hear that extras, it's a bad, bad job to have. You know, you're just sitting around doing nothing all day. And then they don't pay you too much, but... Um, they're funny. They're funny. Uh, two other small things about the the episode where their father comes out to it. Um, 
These are probably nothing, probably nothing, but I thought they were weird at the time. Especially the first thing, the, the photograph that he gives Prue from her piano recital. And he's like, hey, look, if you look really closely, you'll see your mother in the foreground. You look closely. You see there? That's her. I never noticed that before. And she's so obvious. She's like right there. You know, she's like taking up half the photograph. It's like Prue and her mother. It's like those are the two things in the photograph. And Prue goes, oh, I never noticed that before. Really? <laughs> it just seems strange. It's, sort of, I, it, it's probably nothing. It's probably nothing. But it, it just reminded me of episode one where the, the spell made people move in in picture frames, you know, so we know the pictures have been changed. So maybe their mother moved in, you know, she's closer in the, the picture now, uh, more prominent. Um, there could be, it could be a general thing. Maybe the whole show is about pictures, you know, changing. But I just found it funny uh, that she'd never noticed before. It's not too, ob it's not too obvious. Like it is like somebody in, from behind in the, yeah, you would. She's not the focus of the picture, but still, she's pretty, pretty major part of it. The other weird thing about that episode is the father just disappearing. You know, something came up. Really, that's a strange thing, isn't it? Maybe it's just to indicate that he's a flighty person. You know, someone who doesn't do goodbyes. Or maybe he's maybe he's up to something. Maybe he's still up to something. Maybe this handyman guy is just to. Maybe he just sent him and he's. Like he's the one holding the, hey, I found this on your your doorstep. Is it for you? Maybe he's the inside man or something, you know? But Leo, the handyman with a name, 100% going to be in the show, don't tell me. No, no, no. Two, the hair look okay? Does it look weird? Three, the extra, extras are hilarious. Prue's friends from her birthday party? I love him. Love him. And four, thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching Charmed with me. And uh, yeah, see you for episode number five. I'm not going to watch it right away, but I'll watch it soon. And if anything else, I spot anything else weird when I'm editing, I'll save them up. I'll save a few up and maybe make a video about it don't normally do that. <laughs> I'm going to have to train myself not to look at any of the extras. It'll be fine during when I'm reacting because I'll be too focused on the story. But when I'm editing, my mind is just like, ooh, what's this in the background? Mm -hmm. Look at this thing. Look at this funny thing. Look at this picture in the wall. Um, so, yeah, see you next time. Hey, w welcome back. You, did you watch it all? Did you, did you skip over it? Did you, are you even, are you probably skipped this too? Jeez. Okay. Um, hello. Not much has changed, right? The hair has gotten a bit frizzly over the last year or so. And my brain's gotten a little frizzly. But, uh, I love that a little bit. Me talking about Leo. <laughs> that guy, I was so sure. I was so sure he was going to appear again. Was I right or was I wrong? Well, we'll find out, won't we? Um... But hey, did you see in the middle of Prue's friends? This is something I noticed this time around. Do you know Markiplier? I and that guy, that guy in the middle, he's totally Markiplier's dad. You know, you have to age him like you have to age him up like twenty years, and then it'll all make sense. Ah, oh, when I saw him again, I was like, you know what? He reminds me of Markiplier. <laughs> if you have no idea who that is, well, what can I say? Have you been on YouTube? He's all over it. Um, what I will say is that Bucklins Lady extra, that red-headed extra, 100% my favorite extra from season one, and we're going to see her a lot. Not only at Bucklins, but I don't know if you know this, she she has, she has she's elsewhere. She is elsewhere. We'll spot her elsewhere. Um, but I'm not going to spoil that. But you, we'll 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 talk about it. Uh, but yeah, she's always walking around that that freaking. 
Like she owns the place. Like she owns the place. Maybe she does. Maybe she does. Maybe she's secretly Prue's boss. You don't know. Anybody watching along for the first time? You don't know. Uh, but yeah, hey, I feel like this is the first time I got to really talk to you since starting to post these on YouTube. The copyright stuff is getting sorted out. My strategy... Well, I shouldn't tell you my strategy, but the strategy is to solve the copyright stuff before posting. So anything that gets blocked, I solve it before I even post it. So it won't get blocked once it's posted. It does mean I have to prepare them earlier in advance, but it, we're working it out. Also, something very important we have to talk about right now, we have to up the rate of putting them out. We cannot watch one per week. Like, I know I don't have the time most weeks, especially with the way TV schedules looking over the next few months, to like fit in multiple episodes per week. But the show is so large that eventually, at some point, we're going to have to do more than just one a week. Because I couldn't, I can't, I can't be here for three or four years just drip, drip feeding charmed episodes. So the the rate will increase. Maybe we'll get to this week, you know. Um, so. Just be aware that I want to get them out quicker, you know, and I'm not deliberately keeping them. And, and sometimes you'll be like, hey, you didn't you didn't post anything this week. Why don't we get more charmed? Well, my sister's getting married in September. That's that's one thing. I might be away for a week, so I might have a chance. But that's some explanations for, you know, empty weeks. But um just know that I have in the back of my head that I want to get them out quicker. And that one a week, I, I don't I don't like that. I don't like it when I'm watching other reactors watch my favorite shows. I'm like, I do my favorite show all the time. Stop watching these other shows and just do my show, please. Thank you. Can you do that? Why are you not doing that? I don't like this other show. So I get it. I get it. But, um, so... Occasionally, for this first bit, maybe there'll be an extra episode. Hey, like this little bonus episode. This doesn't count, though. Oh, also, some things that other reactors do is that occasionally, from time to time, they will take a break week in your show and they'll upload a thoughts video or something. And that'll be the only thing they upload that week. I hate that. Like me uploading this bonus video, but not an episode? Oh, why? So I try not to do that either. Um, but yeah, hey, new people. Hey, charmed people. Hey, I got 1,900 subscribers. You pushed me from 1,800 to 1,900. Thank you. I know it's you. I know it's you people. Thank you very much. Let's go to 2,000. Let's do it. I don't... I, I'd love it. I'd love it. But I appreciate you just sticking around and watching. Um, the first four episodes were fun to to look through that fourth episode with John Cho and Piper Piper oh Holly oh geez she's oh she's masterful at at oh at the end heartbreaking right and her chemistry with John Cho is like instant instant it's both of them both of them are are so good together you know it, it wouldn't have worked with a lot of other actors or a lot of other other actresses. They just had some sort of... You, I, I feel like they, they would get on in real life. You know what I mean? They have they had a good vibe together. And uh, definitely one of the, the better episodes in the early, early episodes. The third episode... Actually, no, before we go back to the third episode. Phoebe, I love what Phoebe's doing in episode four. I, I love what she's wearing. <laughs> The way she locked that guy into her, into the room. Oh, the guy who gets hit by the car. He's he's one of my favorites from the intro, along with Jeremy. And that's yeah yeah. Looking forward to to seeing that a few times. But yeah, I really I really enjoy Phoebe going off on little adventures on her own and just being goofy goofy. Um, so that was a real treat just to suddenly see her dress like that, <laughs> out of nowhere, just out of absolutely nowhere. And, you know, just to get money so she can get Prue a gift. Did we find out what that gift was? I don't think we did. I don't remember editing it. 
but um, I'm sure it was really beautiful, really thoughtful. And those two are getting closer because initially they started out, you know, ah, oh, Phoebe's coming. Oh, why doesn't she stay in New York? And then she's, and they're slowly building that in the story. You know, they're 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 making, they're kind of doing each other's thing in that last episode. You know, and the bond is getting stronger. I like that. And Piper, you don't need to build a bond with Piper because she's like. She's the glue that holds everybody together, and she's the hug. She's like a she's like a hug, you know. That she's always hugging people together. Um, in these four first four episodes. Uh, right, the third episode with their dad, the one and only. Um, he he was a bit. He was a bit. It's a bit. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Because those morphlings were like, hey, we still got our ace in the hole, their dad. Right? What are... What... Was there a pre... A pre-deal between those people? Like, they're all dead now. But, um, what was that, all that about? He was acting all shady. And it was probably just for the, e the episode, just so we would, you know, be not sure if we could trust him or not. And then it turns out, he did want the he he do he did want the book. Phoebe had the premonition about him wanting the taking wanting the book, right? It turned out it was the morphling in her vision, which was cool. But then it turned out, in kind of a double double bluff thing, that actually the dad did want the the book. So she could have had a legitimate vision about him taking the book. Because he wanted to destroy it and just you know you know, so that they 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 couldn't have magic because magic would be harmful to them and he in his own weird way he wanted to protect them but it was he didn't know them he didn't know if they could handle themselves he still saw them as little children to be protected and they're grown women who can do what they want so i i like the episode i liked all four episodes even the one with that creepy stefan guy even that one with his it wasn't him sh shooting the lasers that wasn't the creepy part of the episode. It, that was a normal demon relationship. Oh, did you see the way Prue was just floating? When they were... Psh, mirror. Get mirror, dude. That wasn't... He wasn't creepy. That wasn't when he was creepy. He was creepy when he was human. Just looking at people. Dude. Do you look like that all the time? <laughs> I know he's supposed to be famous or something. Stefan. That I bet you that's not even his real name. He's probably called Stephen, and uh, he just he just people just call him Stefan because that's you know he's he's pff, get out of here, Stefan. Get obliterated. Yeah, you did. I can't remember. He got turned into a skeleton or something. He's like, I'm gonna live forever. Nope. And yeah, we've already talked about the first episode. Anyway, I just thought I'd check in for the future to tell you about how welcome hello thank you i read all the comments i i, I get to know a few of you and i'm having a great time editing and it takes time but you know it's worth it and the copyright stuff is a bit annoying but i just need to get them up earlier than i would normally have to and uh yeah let's keep going what is the next episode let's have a check shall we See if I can remember it all. Next episode is called Dream Sorcerer. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, Dream Sorcerer. <laughs> That's going to be a fun one. And, uh, ah, yes, The Wedding from Hell. It's just an episode about a wedding. Just a wedding. I'm going to a wedding soon. Maybe it's about that. Uh, so. I feel like there's more, I feel like now that I have the opportunity to speak to you, I should be saying more things, but yeah, keep your eye out for extras. They're everywhere, especially, especially early on. And uh, yeah, and just thank for all the, thanks for all the kind words and the, the support. And we are, we are further ahead on Patreon, but I've said that already. So you, you don't need to, I don't need to, I'm not the sort of person who's like constantly selling stuff like that, but. Uh, 
if you want to hop on that wait till wait till september don't don't jump on just at the end of the month because you'll get charged then and then you'll get charged in september so just wait till september if you want to jump on that uh yeah we're good we're good let's get out of here shall we i'll see you for episode five and you won't be able to tell whether i'm from the future or the past it's it's a whole thing you'll be able to tell you'll be able to tell still i'm still acting it's still it's still a bit different the way i'm react the voice is a bit different the presentation the hair isn't as scraggly anyway i'll see you next time